I am Julie Pullen. I'm a faculty member in the Civil, Environmental, and Ocean Engineering Department. I was drawn to a university setting, and I was recruited by Stevens to lead the Maritime Security Lab. It brought together a lot of my different research interests, as well as the opportunity to engage with students. So for me, it was, uh, it was an easy choice. I'm the recipient of a Fulbright Award, so I will be going to the Philippines in 2018 to do work with colleagues there and teach at the University of the Philippines. Island environments are really interesting focal points for coastal urban sustainability challenges. They tend to concentrate flooding, fires, air pollution, storm surge. A lot of these issues are just really prevalent. In the last year, we've been focused on some of the tropical meteorology processes in the Philippine Islands and how they interact with the coastal ocean and the interaction between those two. We do a series of research cruises. We also simulate our models in, in advance of the research cruises as well as during the research cruises. And we look at our results afterwards in relation to the observations, the measurements we've collected. The expectation is that now that we've been able to show linking them with hydrology, that we gain a, a really strong predictive capability on these type of extreme events. And to be able to warn populations in advance is, is a key aspect of, of this work and get people out of the way of the hazards. My interest in improving the prediction of contaminant dispersal in coastal urban environments came from my time at the Naval Research Lab. I was there on 9-11, and like many people, I sought ways to um, make a difference and to help uh, at, in a time of crisis. And one of the ways I could see to contribute was to link the models of the Earth system, the coupled air-sea models, to be able to better improve our forecast capability for in the event of an accidental or intentional release of a contaminant in an urban area to be able to improve our prediction of where the material would go. It's been a few years since we did that type of study and we're ready to go back in the field and gather more data. The models have been improved significantly since then.